We're not done yet. Coming up, it's a cool little gadget that could help track your moles. Today it's the self-exams you should be doing in between your doctor's visits, and there is one that could save your life. It's a skin self-exam. We have dermatologist Dr. Tess Mauricio with Jennifer, who has a question about her own moles. I want to thank both of you for being here. Yeah. Hi there. <laughs> so we get a lot of questions about moles. What's yours in particular, Jen? Well, my question is, recently I've had some moles, and I know it's important to do self-exams, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for or how to do it. So I was hoping Dr. Mauricio would help me with that. Absolutely. Well, if you look at uh, Jennifer's skin... She's a little bit of a challenge. Yes. With, with all those freckles. Yeah. Exactly. It is tough to sort out what you have to keep your eye on. Well, you know, skin cancer is probably one of the most prevalent skin uh, cancers out there. And melanoma can be a killer. But the big, big um, news is that, really, if you catch it early, just like that's the whole message of mm -hmm. the show, is that early diagnosis is key. And doing a self-skin exam is as easy as A, B, C, D. And A, you know, look at your moles. A is for asymmetry. And if you're looking at any moles, and we're going to look at this mole in particular, um, if you draw an imaginary line in the middle, the two sides should match. And I think there's graphics that will show that in asymmetry. B is for border. So if you're looking at the border of your mole, it should be regular. It shouldn't be jagged. It shouldn't be like up and down and lots of edges. And C is for color. The color should be even, not multiple colors inside your one mole. D is for diameter, and the mole size should be, shouldn't be larger than the size of a pencil eraser. So just because you have any of those A, B, C, Ds doesn't mean you have skin cancer, right? So don't freak out, but it means that you should bring that to your doctor's attention because really most skin cancers are brought to the attention of the doctor. So, so that really shows, you know, if you're doing and you're getting to know your own moles, and when you have this many to deal with, um, really it's important to t keep track of it. And especially A, B, C, D, by keeping track, E is evolve. Right. So if a mole is evolving, you're keeping track of where they are. Use a mirror to look at your back. Well, have your spouse or friend look absolutely. maybe uh, as you feel something on the top of your head. Because you said skin cancer is the number one cancer, and melanoma is deadly. And even that's in why young, you have to treat even them. in young, all treatable, all, if all curable, in. if caught early. And remember that you know patients bring it up to us. And the sad thing is that when I look at a mole and I say, "How long has it been there? Has it been changing?" Most patients will say, "I don't know." And it's really tracking your own moles for for the ABCDs and the evolution. I had a, a a small little growth inside my ear. I couldn't see in there, so I came in yesterday and I had Jim look in there mm -hmm. because I couldn't see it, and I wanted to make sure if there was something that. He right. can take a look now, look at it again a few weeks from now. Exactly. So it's important. And there are great tools now available for, you know, for patients at home to be able to record and monitor their own spots. And there's this great tool called the Visiderm. And it, it comes in the kit. It's very inexpensive, very easy. And, you know, these are our old transparencies mm -hmm. <laughs> from the past. And um, it allows you to really, you know, Record your mole, so there's location, there's dates, and you can follow it. And I do recommend doing monthly self-skin exam just to make sure. And then the nice thing is that you also have these numbers that gives you clues and record the color, whether it's raised, it's flat, and then if it's bleeding. And so, for example, this one on Jen's arm, um, so then we'll put here it's on her left arm. And you just go right there, and you can totally see it, and then just tr mark, trace it out. And then it's tan color, so you circle the appearance, one. And it's flat, so six. So now she has a nice recording of that mold today, done today, and she can do it every month. And the nice thing is she can bring this to her dermatologist's visit, mm -hmm. and then when I ask, Hey, Jen, how long has that been there? Has it changed? You say, no, it's not, or yes, it is. Thank you so much. And Dr. Right. Orton. Yes, sir. <laughs>
Despite your wonderful, beautiful tan, there's also a great way to prevent skin well, cancer, Well, I have right? you to keep an eye on all my moles, right? right? And so in addition to all this, wear sunscreen Absolutely. in the mid part of the day. Try to stay. Wear a hat, sunglasses. Reapply that sunscreen. Right. And check Absolutely. in even in areas where the sun doesn't shine. Well, that's where you need your buddy to. <laughs> that's right. To where you need your significant well, other. Significant exactly. other. <laughs> Like all, but, even on uh, your feet, you can have, you know, there are melanomas like on the feet and even absolutely. nails and stuff. And in your in eyes. Your so. eyes. Exactly. Well, thank you both so much. Pleasure. Our next self-exam is a very specific type of...